What's up guys, Carl here, Noble Training. Real quick, I see stuff in the gym, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Here's one thing I see that I think is basically a waste of time. I don't know if per se it's dangerous, but it might be. I see people grab a dumbbell and they start whipping it around. Now I assume they're trying to work their rotator cuffs in the shoulder to strengthen those. But this is the wrong angle. This doesn't even make sense actually. The weight wants to be pulled down and I can resist it up. But this way I'm kind of just stretching and pushing and pulling my ligaments and tendons. So it's not optional, it's not ideal. A better way to do this is just get a cable system or a band. I'll show you both variations. Simply step out and now the resistance is coming from the cable system. So now the resistance makes sense. Or the band, a simple band setup. Same thing if you're not, if you don't have access to a cable system. Now this is a lot different. Now I'm really getting that, that burn in my rotator cuff. And that's what we want. Even another option would be to lay down on your side and then do it. Much more effective, much better for those rotator cuffs. So standing up and doing it doesn't really make sense. And another problem people do is you'll see them abduct the shoulder while they're trying to externally rotate. Say I'm using the cable system or the band. So if I'm doing this, I'm making it a shoulder exercise in abduction opposed to external rotation. So keep your elbow tight to your ribcage and strengthen your rotator cuffs. Give it a shot.